Hey everyone, today we'll be going over the integumentary system. Let's get straight into it. In essence, the integumentary system is an organ system consisting of skin, hair, and nails with numerous functions. Let's start by talking about the skin. Our skin is the largest organ in our body. It's approximately two inches thick though it does vary throughout the body. Certain parts, such as your heels, will be thicker, while other parts, such as your eyelids, are thinner. So why is it important that our skin is thick? Well, if it wasn't, harmful materials such as bacteria from small particles could enter our body. Once it does, we would get sick very easily. The skin is also extremely helpful in keeping the good things in, just like how we don't want bad things to enter our body, we also don't want the good things to leave our body, such as water. About 60% of our bodies are made up of water, and if we lost some of that water, our digestion would slow down and we would get tired much more easily. Water is extremely important, and our skin helps us retain it as well as other important fluids. Another reason why skin is important is so that we can feel things. Imagine touching a hot stove without skin. We would never know that it was hot. Since we have the receptors on it are able to tell our brain that a certain something is maybe hot or cold or sharp or even smooth. In addition, some parts of the body have more receptors than others. For instance, our fingertips and tongue have much more receptors than the rest of our body because we need to constantly use them. Lastly, the skin plays a major role in temperature control. Have you ever wondered why we sweat? It's because our body is trying to cool down by losing heat via evaporation. Now, what the skin does is when we become too hot, it pushes your blood vessels closer towards the skin surface, as well as dilates the vessels. This allows more heat to escape. Similarly, if we're too cold, the skin will tuck the blood vessels closer and constrict the vessels so that we can preserve more heat. Now let's talk about the actual layers of the skin. The skin is made up of three main layers, the epidermis, dermis, and the hypodermis. I know, big words, but don't worry, they're pretty simple and cool. Take a look at your hand. What you're seeing is the epidermis. It's about 0.1 millimeters thick. That's about as thin as a sheet of paper. The epidermis also contains melanocytes, which produce a pigment called melanin, which gives your skin its color. The epidermis also contains keratinocytes, which contain keratin, a protein. This keratin is responsible for your skin being flexible as well as for making it waterproof. Langerhans cells are also present in the epidermis. These prevent harmful particles from entering your skin. Next we have the dermis. The dermis is the second layer of our skin. It's about 1 to 4 millimeters thick, making it up to 40 times thicker than the epidermis. The dermis contains connective tissue, hair follicles, and sweat glands. About 70% of the dermis is made up of collagen fibers. You may be wondering what collagen fibers are and why they're important. Well, take another look at your skin. Try pushing your skin. It doesn't break easily, right? This is because of collagen fibers which make your skin firm. Now try pulling your skin and then letting it go. Your skin went back to how it originally was, right? This is because of another fiber called elastin, which makes your skin elastic. The third and final layer is the hypodermis. The hypodermis is attached to the skin and lies below the dermis layer. It's important to note that the hypodermis is not considered a part of the skin. The hypodermis contains connective tissues and adipose tissues which help conserve heat. Children actually have less of these tissues than adults. That's why children become colder much more easily than adults. Great job! Now you know about the integumentary system. Let's do a quick quiz to review what we learned. There are three layers to our skin. Do you remember the names of the three layers?
first layer is called the epidermis. The second layer is called the dermis. And the third layer is called the hypodermis. Now, which fiber found in the dermis makes your skin elastic? That's right, it's elastin. Great job! Next question. In the epidermis, there are Langerhans cells. What is one important role that they have? They keep harmful materials from entering your skin. Excellent work! Next, in which of the three layers of skin are adipose tissues found? It's the hypodermis. You're doing fantastic! Here's the final question. Skin plays a major role in temperature control. When does the skin push blood vessels closer towards the skin surface? If you said when we become too hot, that would be correct. When we are too hot, the skin dilates the vessels and pushes them towards the surface so that we lose heat. Conversely, if we are too cold, the skin pulls the blood vessels in so that we can conserve heat. And there you have it. Now you know the basics of the integumentary system. If you enjoyed this video, check out our other awesome science videos. See you next time.